Jet setting soon? Keep your spine in check. I'm Dr. Jeff Allgaier with Discover Chiropractic. Whether you are a frequent flyer or embarking on a long haul journey, keeping your spine healthy is crucial. So today I want to share some essential tips to make sure that you can arrive at your destination without destroying your spine. Let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about correct sitting posture. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we are sitting up straight on this plane. Even if it's a short flight, we want to avoid things like crossing our legs. Crossing your legs is going to restrict blood flow uh, up and down that legs. There's already issues when we're up that high, even though the cabin is pressurized with blood clotting and that sort of stuff. Sitting for long periods of time is really bad for blood flow. So we want to make sure that you're not crossing your legs. We don't want to be leaning one side to the other, you, you know, whether it's sitting on a couch at home, we've done videos on that or, you know, whatever. Keeping your spine in a neutral position is super important. One of the things that I see a lot of people do is using one of those neck wedges around their neck that can be very beneficial. I think one of the problems with that is they're almost too big. I often feel like they push people's head forwards, which is really not good for your posture. So I think those actually work a little bit better if you're able to tilt that seat back a little bit and then and then do that. If you're just sitting with the seat flat, I would encourage rather than one of those you know neck cushions is get a little towel or a blanket to roll up behind your neck just to help with that curve in your neck. Again, a lot of the seats are already kind of pushing that neck forward. So you want to support that neck and that natural curve in that neck. And then watch if you fall asleep or whatever with your head tilted to the side. You know, long periods, I mean, even over 20 minutes of your spine in an incorrect position is enough to start to cause disc issues. The, the discs can dehydrate, etc. And you wake up from that and you can, you know, already be having a, a, an alignment issue in your spine or a pinched nerve or whatever. So we want to avoid that if at all possible. Try and maintain that proper posture for your spine on those flights. Okay, tip number two is stretches uh, on the plane. I know that you're sitting there cramped, but there's you can still do things to help in, increase movement in your body while you're sitting there. So things like shoulder rolls, even just sitting there and rolling your shoulders back and forth, tilting your head one side to the other, rotate. It only takes, you know, 30 seconds. You might look crazy, but I'd rather be the person who looks crazy and stays healthy. Stretching your legs out, possibly. Even twisting your spine as you're kind of sitting there. Even those little movements can help to increase blood flow to tissues. And it is w one of the big consequences of not moving. We talked about this just a second ago. It's just a lack of blood supply. Tissues in your body, the muscles especially, need blood supply to stay healthy. And so if you're not getting enough blood supply to those tissues, they're going to stiffen up. And you end up after, you know, the end of a three-hour flight, you stand up and you're you're stiff, you're miserable, and you can hurt yourself. You can be in pain. You don't want to get to your destination in pain, not functioning or moving correctly. So every, you know, 20 minutes, I would be doing some movement stretches if you can on that plane, help increase blood supply. Okay, now a lumbar support, which is similar to what we talked about in the neck. And in fact, your neck curve and your lumbar curve face the same direction. They are forward facing curves. And so having that towel around your neck can help support that curve. Well, same thing in the low back. And often plane seats are not that supportive of that low back. And for a lot of people, low back issues that can cause problems. And so you can bring on a lumbar support on the plane with you. But even a small blanket around your back in there, just pushing that spine forward. That, again, sitting up straight is going to help with that. And then with that support back there, that can help with that normal alignment and when we don't have the normal alignment our hip shifts forward all the weight of our body pushes through the discs of our spine rather than through the, the bony pillars in the spine called the facet joints and that's where we want that stress going is through the facet joints not necessarily through the discs especially if we're sitting for long periods of time so a lumbar support can make a long flight a lot more a lot less damaging to your spine okay tip number four is to drink lots of water so hydration is super important for all the reasons we just talked about helping with blood supply if you're not, if you're dehydrated, your blood supply isn't flowing properly. You're hard for your body to exchange fluids in your muscles, etc. Your discs need fluid, so you got to keep drinking that water. Make sure that you're getting enough water in. That doesn't just start on the plane, but even before leading up to that flight. If you're drinking a lot of water, that is going to help your body deal with just that long periods of, of where you just can't move like you normally could if you weren't on a plane. Obviously, avoid things like alcohol. Avoid things like caffeine. They dehydrate you, and you know, I see a lot of people in an airport sitting at a bar before their flight or having a drink on a plane, but you know, that, that dehydrates you. We, we urinate more when we do that. We flush that water out of our body and that makes it harder for the body to stay healthy, to keep our, our tissues in our body healthy as well. And a little side note here on, on dehydration. I don't know if this is true or not, but my mom told me this when I was young and it has stuck with me that she always said, you are not sick, you're just dehydrated. And while I don't think that's 100% true, I actually think it's 98% true. I definitely know for me, when whenever I'm dehydrated, at my body, 
body can't clean itself off properly, my immune system can't work as well. And so I know that when I when I am sick too, if I drink a lot of water, obviously that helps flush all that stuff out. When you're in a plane, I mean, a lot of people get sick traveling because you're just sitting right next to, you know, 90 other people or whatever, breathing that same air. And so hydration is obviously important for the tissues and, and your spine and the discs, etc. But it's also good for the immune system, which can really be challenging if you are traveling a lot. So another benefit to hydration. And last tip is to get lots of walks. So you might be going, how do I get walks on an airplane? Well, there is that aisle running up and down the middle. And obviously when it's safe to do so, I really encourage you to get up and try and stroll. You know, you're not gonna be able to do laps up and down there, but try and get moving on that plane. Nothing beats walking for spinal mobility, for spinal health and for muscle health in your body. It's literally the best exercise that you can do. And so when you're forced to sit for three hours, if you can get up and break that up, you know, by getting some steps in on the plane, that would be a great thing. It is one of the benefit too of drinking a lot of fluid is that you might have to, you know, urinate a little bit more and that ha- you're going to be up having to walk, get to get to the bathroom. So an added benefit to drinking more water, but get up, take steps. Don't worry about other people. I mean, obviously don't be rude, but get up, use that aisle. Your spine will thank you. All right. So adding these tips in can be really beneficial to helping uh, your air travel be more comfortable, more productive, get you to your destination feeling better. I promise that if you take care of your spine, it will continue to take care of you mile after mile. If you'd like more information, please visit our website, discoverchiropracticmn.com. Follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. We post these videos all the time. If you have any other questions, reach out to us, let us know. We'd be happy to help. Have a great day.